The uh, what is this? The voltmeter on the right is uh, the input voltage, and the voltmeter on the left is the charging voltage. That's right. So we have over in Unity right here. Yeah. Plus we have this. Six and twelve on the empty battery entry. You have an exit on the second winding or going on the battery. Yep. So here's the setup. This this is a bifiller coil. We see yeah. the two the two wires. One is a thick gauge 23. Well, it's not thick. It's just thicker than the 26 gauge, which is the 26 gauge comes from the uh, input and power. 23. And the 23 is on the uh, other bifiller uh, coil, other part of the bifiller coil, which is going into this charging battery, and the charging battery voltage is showing 15.56 volts. And the other, the charging battery, I mean the discharging battery is 12.17. This is the oscilloscope shot. You see the spikes of radiant energy being created with no, without any motion. No, you don't see the radiant energy. You're going to see it after I disconnect. Okay, you don't see radiant energy now. Now you're going to see the spike. Roger's going to disconnect. Whoa. You see that? No, no, do it again. Okay, well it's very I faint on that. It's just I'm going to burn the transistor. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, I'll try to increase, the, lower the signal as much as possible. Make it. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to see the signal go net, absolutely go off the scale. Oh wow! That's just from uh, disconnecting the charging battery. Look at look at the look at the circuit. And you will see the neon light. This is this is radiant energy actually being produced. Wow! I can't keep it too long because I'm going to I'm going to burn. It. Transistor cannot. You see the transistor is already vibrating. N now like what? Crazy. That's amazing. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to charge a mojo cell with the radiant energy that's coming off, and instead of going straight to a battery with this charging voltage and these huge voltage spikes, uh, as we see on the oscilloscope, we're going to um, we're going to charge a mojo. As the magnet, as magnet is passing across, is interfering. Yeah, the magnet is actually, and this is the original schoolgirl experiment. But now, because there is a solid state setup, with the uh, the transistor has an increased um, resistance. resistance to cause it to oscillate. That's right. So it becomes solid state. It doesn't even need the motion of the the, the magnets, and the magnets are actually uh, deterring from the the, the voltage. Although we lost the, uh, can you get that spinning again? Yeah, it's, it's spinning, it's spinning, but it's... Look, at the, look at the interference it's making. Wow, on the oscilloscope shot, you really see oh, it distorting. It goes, it goes absolutely off the scale. What are you doing now with that uh, potentiometer? Are you tuning? I'm, just, I'm increasing the resistance to get the, to get a transistor oscillation. to get the highest possible voltage output. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What 15, is that? 15 point nine, 15 volt. Okay. 15 volts now? It's That's not even as high. Are off the scale. Wow. Look at that. Wow. But this is, is this going to lose momentum or keep spinning? Yeah, it is because I put it on the highest possible. So the, the, the most of the, I'm keeping the most of the residual voltage. But it, it will spin now. It yeah, won't it will, stop it will, spinning. It will. But it's, uh, the spinning is not really necessary. No, because you because have, the solid have a solid state. This was just a, originally when I had no, you know, we can put it as a, as a, as original project. You would not have to. Uh, you will see you see the difference in the spikes. Yeah. It's completely. Different. So we want to put it back to the original one yeah, now. Okay. Cougar project. This is pure Bedini, uh, the radiant energy creation. But you'll see the here the radiant energy now is not produced as a, as as in a big amount. See now you can run it. Okay, it's not as much. Yeah, but that's that's some spike there. How how many volts do you do you estimate on the the peak there? I, did, I cannot I cannot measure the. It's the highest that my scope can handle. Okay, take a wild guess. Uh, I would say around 350 to uh, maybe up to 700 volt. But uh, I cannot measure because if I keep it off, to, to do the measurement, my transistor is going to just burn up. Okay. You can't handle the... All right, so what do you say we, uh, we put the mojo as the load now? 
Okay. Okay. Because mm -hmm. of the uh, amp, we are not taking consideration amperage. And is it possible to switch them into amp meters? Uh, I have only one. That's why I wanted my friend to. to this is a pure Bedini schoolgirl project now because we took off the extra resistor that was uh, creating a natural oscillation in the transistor, which is what we'll call solid state. We'll even get more uh, creative voltage, more radiant energy out of the solid state than this, but this is kind of more exciting to see because it's all these moving parts and stuff. Although that's, uh, we can get past that pretty quick. So now Roger just tuned the... Uh, the output voltage for optimal voltage. This is this is over unity right here. We're creating more than we are putting in, and we have all this free movement. Movement is absolutely free. Movement is free. Yeah. So if you calculate the wattage that's being used to to move it, and you add to this, you can see the it, the percentage will be more than uh, it's hard to say. More than uh, maybe 150 percent. Mm. I have to I have to do precise calculation to be able to answer you the exact question. Beautiful spikes there.